I'm Ben Pimentel of Market Watch, and I'm here with Sean Gorley, CTO and founder of Quid Inc. And we're going to talk about what happened on Tuesday when a hacking of the AP Twitter account triggered a massive market sell-off. What happened, Sean? Well, so what we see here is, is AP um, Twitter account getting hacked and a, a tweet comes out that says there's been a bomb, an explosion in the White House and Barack Obama is, is, is injured. Um, what happens then is it kicks off a set of chain reactions that causes about $200 billion of capital to be wiped out of the markets um, for about five minutes um, and then it bounces back. Computers have played a role in trading for years, but that role has been changing. I mean, we talked about earlier how in the past it's usually just to figure out the movement of the stock, but computers have become much more sophisticated. Can you talk a bit about that? Right, exactly. So in the old days, um, we're talking 10 years ago, we would have had computers trading on the zeros and ones, sort of tick information about the price of a stock and maybe the volume that was traded. It was all the information that you'd get um, looking at, at a stock chart. But of course, um, you know, what, what happened then is the computers needed to move faster because there was a competition for speed. But they need to get smarter. Um, and so they start to learn how to read. And as the algorithms learn how to read, they start to read news. And then you also have now the random news out there, the, the tweets, the news headlines. How has the computers adapted to those changing uh, the types of information? Right, so the standard natural language processing, which is the technology that um, these, these computers use to read, would be the same stuff you find in a spam filter, um, you know, blocking your emails from people you, you don't know. Um, but what, what goes on there is um, you can think of uh, the, the easier problem, which is for a computer to say, I know an earnings call is coming out, I know a statement from the Fed is coming out. What's a lot harder though is to, for an algorithm to look through millions of different tweets and look for events that weren't scheduled, look for events that weren't predicted. It's a much noisier world where people can tweet in any kind of language that is unstructured and not necessarily conforming to, uh, to very, very um, formal English. Can the, these systems become much more sophisticated so where they know, you know quickly that, okay, this AP tweet was a hoax. So, so there's a couple of things going on here. Um, the mathematical signature of, of a real bomb attack like we had in Boston looks very, very different from the mathematical signature of tweets that we had from the AP news hoax. If you look at the, um, the tweets through time in Boston, it sort of radiated out with pictures and different kinds of words. It was highly centered on Boston initially and then moved out around the world. And it had a certain kind of frequency, timing, structure that the AP News uh, uh, hoax didn't have. It had a different kind of structure. So we can actually tell if we look back at that and say this was real, this was fake, just based on these mathematical signatures. Of course, that takes a little bit of time. So an algorithm that's making its money um, by being the fastest, we're talking in a world of you know, milliseconds here, doesn't have time to process through that information, doesn't have time to make complex calculations, and so it just gets out of the market and says, you know what, I don't know what to do. And then liquidity vanishes. And that's what happened. Thank you very much. Thank you.